All right, in this video, this is T's multiple choice review video number nine, and this is going to be a challenging equation. It has fractions, it has parentheses, and we're even going to get, I guess you could say, a weird answer. Try the free sample first, and if you are interested in even more multiple choice questions, try the full review. Links for both of these are in the description. So let's go ahead and get started. Now on the left hand side, we cannot combine these together and I'm just going to leave that as is. And the main thing I wanna focus on first is this set of parentheses we have here. We need to distribute, but for now I'm gonna bring down that negative one half X. And since this is an understood positive two, let's think of taking this two times this understood one X. And two times one is a positive two, but do not forget your X there. And then if we distribute one more time, taking this two times this one distributive property, these are both positive and two times one is two. Now there are a couple of options to solve this equation from here. Now we could combine these X's together over here on the right. We could leave these fractions in the problem. But what I like to do when I have an equation with fractions, I prefer to multiply both sides by a common denominator. And notice I'm doing this before I combine like terms, before I start moving things around. This is just personal preference. It will always work. But what is important here is that we multiply both sides, everything on both sides by that common denominator. And we have a denominator of three, we have a denominator of two, a common denominator. As a matter of fact, the least common denominator, the least common multiple is going to be six. So let's multiply both sides by six. Now be careful with multiplying here. We take six times this top number. We do not take six times the bottom number. So six times two is 12. Check out this shortcut, divided by three, we have four X. Distribute again, six times this two, that is a positive two, so we have plus 12. Bring down our equals. And now let's look at the right-hand side. Six times one, and yes, we do have a negative here. So six times negative one is negative six, Check out this shortcut, divided by two, that's gonna be negative three, do not forget your x. Six times this two x, they're both positive. Six times two is a positive 12, don't forget your x there. And then finally, one more time, distributive property, six times two, we get plus 12 here. Now we still have several options from here. I'm going to leave the left-hand side alone, four x plus 12 equals, I am going to combine these two like terms here. Negative three X plus 12 X, watch your signs, negative three plus 12, that is a positive nine. Do not forget your X. And then we have our plus 12 that we're going to bring down. Now we still have multiple options here. Some students prefer to move the X to the left-hand side. Some students prefer to move the smaller to the bigger. Honestly, it doesn't matter. i tell you what I'm gonna do here. I'm going to move that 9x on the right-hand side. I'm going to move that to the left-hand side. And this is totally fine because 9x minus 9x, that cancels out. And notice we are subtracting 9x from both sides. Whatever you do to one side, do to the other. From here, we have 4x minus 9x, that is negative 5x. Bring down your plus 12 and this is going to be equal to a positive 12. You don't have to bring down the plus here. It's understood to be positive. So we finally have X on one side and we want to get X by itself. Since this 12 is getting added right here and I want to get rid of it, I'm going to do the opposite of adding, which is subtracting 12. Again, remember to do that to both sides. Well, 12 minus 12, it cancels out, but technically that is truly equal to zero, right? I mentioned that for a reason here. Let's bring down what we have left, negative five X, bring down our equals and 12 minus 12. You might want to cancel those out and technically that is right, but if you do that, there is literally nothing else over here on the right hand side. 
So yes, 12 minus 12 gives us zero, and since there is nothing else over here on the right-hand side, we must write that down because we have to write something down over here on the right-hand side. The reason why I didn't write down zero over here is because we still had something else to bring down. And now finally to finish this off, let's divide both sides by negative five. And again, what we're doing here is we're taking negative five divided by negative five. That is a positive one. We can just cancel that out. And a positive one X, one X is we can just say X and this is equal to what? Zero divided by negative five is still equal to zero. Therefore, our solution to this equation is x equals zero. Now this equation covers a lot of different ideas of solving equations. The distributive property, getting rid of fractions, that shortcut I showed you earlier, and then combining like terms. You didn't have to do that here. And then making that decision, do you want to move your x's to the left or to the right? You have that option. And then this part right here, the kicker. I see a lot of students do this and then they won't write that down and they kind of get stuck. But we had to write zero over here because literally there was nothing left on the right hand side. And ultimately doing all this, even if your work did not match mine perfectly, if you're getting x equals zero, your solution and your work is correct. If you like what you see and you haven't already, please consider subscribing. And for more problems like this, try my free sample and the full review. You can find links for both of those in the description. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped.